Hello and welcome back to this episode on UMA materials. So just to illustrate what's going on with UMA, um, I'm going to carry on with the example from our previous session where we have our UMA with some hair and the clothing set we created in the last couple of videos. Um, if we examine our UMA and have a, a look inside here, let's just reduce that down a little. We can see we've got three uh, shaders actually on our UMA. This means there are three draws happening every time we draw one of these UMAs. Um, if we look here, uh, the name of the material, so we've got UMA mesh hair double sided, has a shader attached and this is the UMA hair fade cutout shader. So this is a shader that comes with UMA. If we look in, there's all of the, the setup of it. So this is something different from the standard material. Um, let's have a look at the next one, which is this diffuse normal specular occlusion UMA material. And that has a standard specular shader. This is one we created uh, for our last episode. So when we created this clothing. So what you'll notice here, this is the name of the UMA material. Um, but whatever shader you like can actually be inside it. So down here, this is the one we picked when we were creating a normal UMA, which is the diffuse normal metallic. And again, normal stuff in here. So the albedo, the metallic and the normal map are being put in there. But again, this is another shader. This is a standard shader without the specular setup. So what I'm kind of trying to point out here is when, when you add a different material to an UMA, it will take all of the textures or all of the um, overlays that use that material and it will try and crunch them together. So for example, this one here, if we have a look in the preview area, let's go down to the bottom one. This is the shader used by UMA by default. And as you can see, it's Atlas, all of the underlying UMA here. We've got the body, we've got the head, eyes, mouth. You can see another overlay for the underwear actually on there. So um, this is the heart of it. What it does, it takes all of those overlays because they're the same material. It crunches them all together, trying to make uh, as few draw calls as possible on your character. Um, so conversely, what I could do is if we had used the same standard material, or this diffuse normal metallic UMA material for our clothing, that would be crunched into this one. So we would see the actual textures appear in this atlas. Uh, same with the hair. So if we had the hair as a standard one, we would only have a single single atlas and a single draw call for our UMA. So this all depends on what you want. Um, do you want lots of different shaders and lots of detail, but maybe not be quite as efficient? Or do you want lots and lots of characters on the screen at once and want them crunched down into a single material? Again, that's completely up to you and how that fits with your game. What I want to have a look at is how we can create a new one of these and start using it uh, on our character. Okay. So for our first example, we obviously need a shader. Um, I'm going to use this rather marvellous free tune shader by Michael Kreml. Um, you'll find this on the Asset Store. He also has a paid version. I'm sure once you've played with this one, you'll, you'll dive in and buy that full price version um, but I'm just going to import that in and you can see I have it here in my project and we're going to try and make a tune shaded UMA okay so let's go back to our scene uh, let's run again and have a look at our character now one of the great things is um, we can basically live swap our shaders out and just have a little look at what this shader looks like on our character um, I could go piece by piece and I can work out which one I want to fiddle with the shader on, but I'm, I'm actually going to start with the clothing. This should be the easiest one to convert. So if I go into my scene view, let's get a bit closer and find our clothing shader, which was this one. So I'm going to swap this out. I'm just going to change it from a standard specular to this tune free shader. So this isn't changing anything. This is purely doing some live adjustments so I can see what my shader looks like. A um, couple of things I want to fiddle with on the shader, so let's open it up. 
you can see straight away it's very different from the standard shader um, it only requires two maps a color and a normal map the rest of it is set up over here in these menu options so the first thing that outlines a bit thick so let's open this up and set this to point zero zero five that's a bit better um, I don't want any rim lighting so I want a very little rim lighting so let's pull that down and drop the smoothness down okay uh, specular again don't want specular don't want shiny clothing and let's have a look what else have I got um, the lighting make sure it's not smooth that looks good so I'm quite happy with the result um, again let's try that with the other items so I'll try that with the hair and we'll change that to tune and again you can see the defaults have come back so I'm going to just change those things that I changed last time so outline down to point zero five if you're wondering why it's such a small figure that's because um, Uma's by default a hundred times smaller than they appear so this value gets inflated by a hundred times compared to a normal item don't panic about that just fiddle until you get what you want um, again let's get rid of that specular intensity bring that down and I want to remove the rim lighting so again this is a uh, this is all your own personal preference so just to finish off my preview I'm going to do the same thing with the base Uma and fiddle with those values so I'm, I'm getting the same thing here on all of them obviously that outline down to zero zero five I'm turning the rim down uh, turning the specular down and that's about it that looks good so that is the final effect I want to achieve so I can see how I have to set my material up by playing with it live um, and I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna have a look and see if I can recreate this as an Uma material okay so let's begin by being tidy and creating a new folder and we'll call this Uma uh, cartoon that looks good um, and in here I'm going to create a new normal material so this would be our normal unity material so I'm going to call this Uma um, cartoon great so let's have a little look over here and as usual we've started with this standard shader so I'm going to switch this over to my tune shader and as you can see I it's just as it was in the other view um, I'm not going to bother filling in the color or the normal map you can put these in as defaults but um, they will just get overwritten by the uh, overlays so I'm going to leave those alone but I am going to change these values to match what I had uh, in our preview there so I got rid of the rim and I got rid of the specular I brought it right down um, and I think that was it wasn't it yeah the smoothness was there took the rim smoothness down I'm happy with that I can fiddle with that later if I want to but this looks like the kind of effect I want so I've created my own shader now to use this on an Uma we need to have uh, a bridge if you like which uh, is our Uma material it sits in between the two so again on here I'm going to right click say create uh, Uma core material so you can see this isn't a material it's actually an asset that refers to this material so again I'm going to call this uh, Uma underscore cartoon just to try and make it look like uh, the others in fact let's do this the other way if you remember it had underscores saying what info you needed so this would be uh, the color and the normal map this is actually uh, diffuse isn't it so let's name this Uma cartoon underscore diffuse underscore normal so that's following our naming convention that we have with Uma materials again that's just me being picky um, so in here you can see we're blank at the moment I'm going to add my material 
So there's our Umakatu material. And then the texture channels, if we have a look again, there was only two that we want to define. Um, if it does, like the standard shader, it has lots of material slots. You don't have to define them all, only the ones you want. Uh, for this example, we've got two, so we'll use two. Okay, and it's telling me uh, it can't find the name of these materials. So first of all, before we start trying to type names in, you can hunt them down by digging through shader code and whatever. But uh, again, Um is quite clever with this. If I select over here, it will show all of the material names used in the shader. And you can usually work out which is which. So the main text here is going to be my um, diffuse color. And if you go down to channel one, we will say that wants to be the bump map. So whenever uh, we define an overlay, we will have to give in channel zero the main text and in channel one the bump map. Okay, uh, there is something else here, cloth properties. We'll, we'll leave that alone for the moment. Um, but this is for linking with the UMA or the Unity cloth module. Uh, we'll look at that another time, I think. So we've created our UMA material here, which links to our cartoon material that we've created over here. Great. So how do we use this? Well, uh, we've done this before. Let's um, let's simplify our our um, mesh to begin with. Let's take our, um, what shall we have? Let's take off everything but the top. So when we run now, there we are, we have our Uma wearing the top that we created. So I'm going to modify that to actually use our new material. Uh, so if I open up the, where are we, Uma bodyguards, and in here we have our overlay, Okay, so this is the actual texture. As you can see, this is how we created it with four uh, texture channels, which were from this UMA material. Well, this time I'm going to switch over to our new UMA cartoon material. Again, you can see it's stripped it down just to two basic textures, and because the names are the same, it's retained those two values, so I don't need to change anything really here. So that's great, my overlay is now using our new UMA material. However, this will not work. If I try to run now, my UMA doesn't generate and I get a set of errors saying that the materials don't match. Okay, uh, this is something key here. Your mesh, if we have a look at our top, and let's have a look at the slot itself, not the recipe, Let's have a look at the slot itself and you can see in here there is a definition of the UMA material. This must match with the overlay that you're putting on it. So I need to change this uh, mesh as well. So I'm going to add my cartoon material to my slot. Okay, when I run now, there you go. We can see we now have that slot running with our material. You can see I've got some specular going on here. Let's have a look in our cartoon here and see what's happening. So I've still got a little bit of specular intensity which I don't want. Very easy to fix. Again, I can go back into the original material. Take that out. Let's run again. And there we go. That's looking a bit better. That's more like what I want. So, because this is using all of these items of clothing are using this same overlay. All I should need to do is go into each slot in turn and change it to our new cartoon material. So again, let's go into the next one, the pants. Change it to the cartoon material. Um, let's go to the gloves. Change that slot to the cartoon material. And did I miss any of the boots there? I think I did them, didn't I? Yes, I did. So we should be able to add these all back to our character. So let's put the uh, gloves recipe back in there. Let's put the pants back in. And the shoes, that was it, wasn't it? Yep, shoes. And, oh, I didn't do the shades, did I? 
Go and let's change the shade. There we are. Lovely. And add those back to our character. And voila. There we go. We now have cartoon clothing on our Uma. So uh, I could go deeper. The process is exactly the same for our um, hair for the base recipe. Now, um, unfortunately, it's a little bit of a laborious process. I'm not going to force you to go through it, but it means I'm going to have to change every one of my base slots to use this new material. And then I'm going to have to go through and change every one of the overlays to use this base material. So I won't bore you with that. You can sit and chew through that yourself. Um, but uh, the process is fairly straightforward as you can see using that you can define any shade that you like and use it in your Uma characters okay I hope that helps and I will see you next time and once again I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible uh, if you would like to support me feel free to click that link at the end of the video Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.